how to use good debt to build wealth. There's two types of debt. There's good debt and there's bad debt. I'm going to teach you how to use good debt to build the wealth that you want. At the end of this video though, stay tuned. I'm going to shock you with something you probably just do every day and it's completely wrong. So I'm going to talk about three things. First of all, let's just dispel all myths with bad debt and what debt is. Then I'm going to talk about good debt and how do you use it. And then number three, I'm going to give you the shocker and the daily behavior that most of you are going to be like, oh my gosh, I've been doing this wrong for years. So get a notepad. Let's begin. So first of all, bad debt. Like why does everybody have such a weird relationship to debt? Well, I have to contribute it to number one, just the traditional financial institutes, but I got to give some like Susie Orman, Dave Ramsey, Dave Bach, you know, they're great at teaching that philosophy. They're not teaching you to be millionaires. They're not teaching you to get wealthy. So I love what they do for what the category they teach in, but let's not just because they're in a money conversation, get that all confused. They teach you to not have any debt right? To be debt free. Those are messages that are sent out from them. Are you kidding? I have somebody just now, I just went on a, a little video break here a little minute ago, who just texted me and said, oh my gosh, Laurel, I just got funding for $561,000. And at the end of it, they offered me another opportunity to get another 936,000. He said, I cannot wait to go into $1.5 million of debt to become a multi multimillionaire. So you know, bad debt, it's how you think about it. Like you have this inherited behavior of you shouldn't be in credit card debt. The worst excuse that people use that just, I roll my eyes and go, oh, here we go again, is when they say, oh, I have, when I'm out of debt, Laurel, then I'll call you. Well, I'm going to get you into debt. So why are you waiting? Let's do this whole thing right. In my Millionaire Maker book on page 194, I have how millionaires get out of the bad debt situation that you might meet me in right? And how we, you know, get out of debt. And then once you get out of debt, you're never going to have any bad debt because get, you know, how does debt even happen? Debt happens because you don't make enough money. So let's solve the right problem, right? You have a job, you outlive your paycheck. So you use credit cards to put the rest of your lifestyle on. Now, the good news is you want a bigger life. So you're easier to work with. Those of you who have scrimped and saved and got down to living, you know, paycheck to paycheck, and that's all you live on. Like you're harder to get to work because we got to go create, we got to go generate, we got to go make more money. So the answer to bad debt isn't living, you know, in your means and doing all that crazy stuff. Just make some more money. If you want a bigger life, go make the money to have it. You can have, buy anything you want. That's been the principle I've lived by since I was 17 years old. You want to make it, you're going to spend it. You're going to make it, you're going to invest it. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to make and invest. So you can take good debt, which is money that doesn't cost you anything and invest it to build wealth. I'm going to come to that in just a moment. Let me finish bad debt. So bad debt is just like what I call an inherited behavior. You've just decided that you don't want it and you don't know how to deal with it. So again, I want you to stop. That's the cost of money. If you can get money for zero, one, two, three, four percent, why would you ever pay that off when you can get money and go invest it for 10, 12, 15, 40, you know, a hundred percent. I mean, there's cryptocurrencies that are doing a hundred percent and people have used credit cards to begin the game of investing. So some people say, well, that's really, really risky. Well, that's why I'm here. So I'm going to pause for a moment. I want you to subscribe to my channel right now. You've got to get financially literate. You just can't be here for one video and then pop out of here. I need you here five days a week and I'm going to be your financial literacy trainer. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about money. And eventually you're going to come closer and join our community and hang out with us because that's all we talk about and do is business and money. So subscribe to the channel, click that little bell so you get my notifications every day. Now let's go to the fun stuff, right? Bad debt. Just to put a summary on what are you going to do? You're going to go get my Millionaire Maker book. You're going to read, go right to page 194 and you're going to get out. You're going to get on that debt plan. It's called the power down debt plan. You're going to get on that. We'll get you out of bad debt. Now let's talk about good debt. Again, just the cost of money. So let's take your house, for example. If your house is two, three, four, even 5% and these crazy programs of pay your house off, pay down your house in 15 years. Why? That's cheap money. If you can use somebody else's money, say you have a million dollar house and you put down 200,000 and you owe 800, why would you take $800,000 and pay off say four or 5% money? Let's just say 4%. When you can take that $800,000 and you can invest it, let's just call that for 10%. For 10%, you make $80,000 a year. Why would you ever use that kind of money to pay down an asset that you're gonna live in? It doesn't cash flow. You're going to run out of a depreciation schedule eventually. 
and uh, there's no big tax deductions to it other than that. Why don't you take the 800 and go invest it and make 80,000, make 96,000, make $100,000 a year. So we're gonna teach you how to use good debt. I uh, have people in this last pandemic, oh my gosh, did we have fun. The SBA gave EIDL loans. The amount of people that got millions and millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars at 0% from the government, 18 months, 24 months, that can use it as a business investment. Now, I think a lot of people are confused of how they're using it. You can use it as a business investment and your company can invest it. Your company can, there's nothing different of having a capital account for your business and get it making money. So when you can make money on 0%, it's free. When you have a 0% credit card and you can use your credit card, my favorite use of good debt and 0% uh, credit cards is, is rehabbing a house right? Or some sort of an asset. I've just recently had somebody rehab a car and then flip cars with it. Right? So they use the credit cards, 0%, buy all the supplies, buy all the equipment. You can even pay vendors with credit cards, do all of the work, sell the house, sell the car, sell the whatever you're going to do, pay off all the cards. That's the key. You got to pay off all the cards. You're back to zero. You made all the profit and you didn't pay hard money loans at 15%. You didn't pay any interest. It's free money. So I want to teach you how to be responsible and use good debt to become multimillionaires. I have so many people on this program where they're using good debt. They're using other people's money. Now, if you have really bad credit, we got to do some credit repair. That doesn't mean you're going to wait till all your credit or your corporate credit's cleaned up. You're going to use some other people's money or you're going to partner with other people to build wealth while you're cleaning that up and really getting used to that muscle of using good debt. It is pivotal to wealth building. I've had people less than a year become millionaires by using good debt to build wealth. So before I continue, if this is critical to you, especially for you younger folks that are still listening to your parents and your parents don't know what they're talking about, you need to share this. <laughs> you need to share this video, get them to subscribe, get them to start listening. So then together you can have a better conversation about money in your family, right? Critical. Also with your business partners, I have a lot of folks, your business partners don't agree with any of this and they won't put the business into debt. Let me please get my hands on them so we can fix this. Now, the number one thing that is just an obvious and you've been doing it forever is using your debit card, right? It's the biggest mistake. Why are you using your debit card? It's money straight out of your bank account, right? And you say, well, because then it's just paid off. And again, this is assuming that you want to get literate. You want to get responsible and you're going to be mindful about how this works. And so using a credit card is essentially using somebody else's money for 30 days. So why wouldn't you put for all your purchases on a variety of different cards? In our opinion, you're going to need six to seven to keep your credit good and keep a rotation revolving credit line. And you use them properly. You do pay them off every 30 days, but use somebody else's money. Put your debit card away, get your credit cards out. It's going to build your credit. Your debit card doesn't build your credit. It doesn't do anything for you, right? It just pays your bills right away. Whoopee, that doesn't work. Well, it's interesting, it's old fashioned. So use credit cards, use them properly, pay them off, pay them off in a staggered way and begin that today. Begin that today, go put your debit cards away, get your credit cards out and you say, well, I only have one or two credit cards. We'll start using them and be very mindful about using them and paying them off on a regular basis and start building your credit back up. And we're gonna teach you how to get a lot of good debt to build wealth for the rest of your life. Now, if you're interested in this and you want to know more, I want you to start with the quiz. You're going to click on the link below, take a financial personality quiz, and it's going to then pop back out and give you an application. Please fill that out. And that gives you a complimentary conversation with one of my top strategists about how we're going to help you build wealth, become a millionaire. And if you want to use good debt, a year to three years is very doable for any of you that are out there watching. So click on the link and let's begin today. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow.